Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa delivered a speech on the occasion of the end of the commemoration of Ashura season. He began by congratulating everyone on the new Hijri year and wished Bahrain, its people, the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to all relevant institutions and entities, especially the Jafari Endowments and the heads of the community centers, as well as all volunteer field work teams for their good follow-up and the specific and smooth organization during Ashura and for their responsible stances by following preventive instructions and applying the precautionary plans issued by Team Bahrain. His Majesty praised the role of Team Bahrain in limiting the spread of the coronavirus and mitigating its effects under the substantial supervision of His Royal Highness Akram Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He added that the, cautions, the cautious and disciplined measures that characterizes the commemoration of Ashura this year and the care and attention provided to this religious occasion to commemorate its essence stem from the Bahraini distinctiveness with its coherent social fabric that lives in peace and harmony. His Majesty said that Bahrain will remain a humane reference in the exercise of religious freedoms, respect for sectarian pluralism, and a core for the genuine values of our religion with its great principles and right approach. His Majesty expressed special thanks to the distinguished religious sheikhs and scholars for their sincere efforts during this period. He added that they presented enlightened explanations related to the fulfillment of the most significant purpose of the Sharia, preserving lives and protecting people from risks and harm. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to preserve the interests of Bahrain and its citizens and residents and maintain the security, safety and health as well as end this pandemic in order to be reunited in the best conditions. His Majesty concluded his speech by wishing Bahrain a year full of happiness and many happy returns. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed at most happiness after Paris FC secured its second consecutive victory, representing Bahrain victorious, which owns 20% of the team. He underlined that the team's victory over Valenciennes FC in the second round confirms the high ambitions of the team, on top of which securing promotion to League One this season. Paris FC is now topping the standing of the French second division following back to back victories including win over Chambly. His Highness added that the presence of the victorious Bahrain logo on the jerseys of Paris FC is an enormous gain that serves the promotion of Bahrain and displays its accomplishments and achievements in various areas in an effort to achieve the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. He pointed to the great effort being exerted by the team's administrative and technical staff who are providing an ideal environment for the players in a bid to allow them to live up to their potential. His Highness wished the team the best of luck in its next game versus Amiens FC, which will take place on September 12th. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, wished Bahrain McLaren team member Rafael Valls a speedy recovery, who had been in an accident. His Highness praised the capabilities of Valls in representing the kingdom and affirmed his keenness to follow up on his recovery with the help of the administrative and medical bodies of the team. Valls withdrew from the race in France after the first round due to the serious accident he had that resulted in breaking his thigh bone and was transferred to a hospital immediately. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyya Zainal and the Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, inspected the progress of work in Al Hnainiya residential projects. The Speaker praised the keenness of His Majesty the King on housing projects and hailed the government's sustained efforts to meet citizens' demands. She held the role of the ministry over the past year in constructing residential towns and spearheading a string of projects and providing thousands of housing units and services. The housing minister welcomed the visit of the speaker and affirmed that this visit represents the strong cooperation between the executive and legislative authority, in addition to their keenness to meet the needs of citizens. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyya Zainal praised the official efforts which allowed the gradual reopening of mosques for collective prayers based on the statements of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and the recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19. She said that the phased reopening of mosques which brought joy to citizens and residents reflects Bahrain's successful efforts and viable precautionary measures to combat COVID-19. She praised the directors of His Majesty the King and hailed the efforts of the government led by his Royal Highness a Prime Minister and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness a Crown Prince. She stressed the necessity of complying 
complying fully with preventive health protocols and precautionary measures. The speaker praised the success of the Ashura commemoration, hailing the efforts and follow-up of the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowment, and the Health Ministry and the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19. She praised citizens for their cooperation, commitment and awareness that reflects their keenness to comply with the mandatory precautionary measures. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,927 with 515 recoveries, 278 registered new cases. Out of the new registered cases, 111 are expatriates, 165 are contacts of active cases and two are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.